Hello everybody, this is Chad McRae and today I wanted to show you the next update in my 5 minute RPG. Today I've implemented animations and I wanted to use the humanoid animation type with the animations that were provided in the asset download for the Toon RTS Knight. And this is just a quick overview of everything I've implemented. So on the player object I had to create a avatar for our animator component. You can do that by right clicking on an animation. So in this case I chose idle because that's the default animation. Right click and click create and animator controller. When I did that it created this uh, controller underneath the animation object and I just clicked and dragged that up to the avatar property in the animator component. To follow that I had to then add an animator uh, property on the player character script and uh, since this script may be applied to other entities I also wanted to require a component of animator and in the start method I set animator to get component animator inside the update function I added a an event listener for getting an input of the mouse button zero which is the left mouse button and as long as I'm not currently attacking I'm going to start the coroutine to attack while not currently attacking, I'm setting it to true, so then this will only occur once if I click multiple times while this is currently being processed. And then I set the animator set bool function to for is attacking to true. And then I wait five seconds, and then I set the boolean back to false, and I set the is attacking back to false. And going back to Unity real quick, I'll go into the animator component, and here you can see the basics of the animation I've incorporated. Here's the is attacking boolean that we're setting to true and false. This animation is just a simple um, sword swing with two transitions to the default animation walk. This is the movement one that I've I've been working on and what it is is the three other animations that are included in in this pack are idle, walk, and charge. And so here you can see that our character is in the idle pose. And as I slowly creep up the speed property, he'll slowly start sneaking until I get to about three, and then he'll be a full-fledged walk. And then if I go above three all the way to five, it'll transition into the charge. So I haven't incorporated the logic into the player character controller for movement yet, but we will be using the speed float variable. If I click play, I want to show you real quick what it looks like when he actually swings his sword. So just left clicking uh, as fast as I can and the animation will still only play once. Once it's done playing, then he returns back to his idle pose. So on the next video, I will be incorporating movement for our character and then we've really got a minimal viable product of a RPG created in Unity and four videos so less than 20 minutes uh i'll see you next time thanks for watching